how to be a ski patroller. Just follow these simple steps and you too can be patrolling the mountain in no time. Step 1. Sign up for an outdoor emergency care class and learn the following lingo. OEC, Sample, ABCD, BVM, Pearl, APPU, APGAR, HAPE, HACE, MOI, DCAT Bottles, PPE, and SPORE. Step 2. Buy a pair of skis. Now get equipment for the following. Backcountry, groomers, carving, and snowboarding. Wait, that can't be right. Step 2.5. If you do decide to patrol on a board, get ready for a lot of questions. So how many times have you broken your wrist? Hey, can you even take a toboggan down the mountain? So what do you do on flats? Step 3. Don't forget to dress in layers to stay warm. Most patrollers wear the following, base layer, wicking layer, thermal layer, soft shell, hard shell, vest, face mask, helmet, goggles, and gloves. Step 4. To make sure you have a properly packed vest, we recommend you carry the following. CPR mask, multi-tool, cravats, roller bandage, sterile gauze, a SAM splint, a full set of oral airways, a stethoscope and blood pressure cuff, suction device, oxygen, and a fire extinguisher. Now you'll be ready for any emergency. Step 5. Buy a Subaru with a nice ski rack. Make sure to put plenty of stickers on it. Step 6. Justify all large purchases on the NSP site because, hey, you're saving lives. Step 7. Get a trail dog and give him a sweet ski name like Summit or Aspen. Make sure to get him a vest so he looks official. Step 8. Learn terms for different conditions and spend a lot of time talking about it. Corn snow, packed powder, mashed potatoes, ice, spring conditions, and best of all, POW! Step 9. Be a beer snob. You drink Pilsner? IPA is where it's at. Look, this one says Ski Patrol on it. Step 10. Two words. Duct tape. And last but not least, don't forget to sign up at your local patrol and soon you too can wear the cross with pride. Uh -huh.